hey there, native plant enthusiasts. This is Santino, education manager for Bowman's of Wildflower Preserve, coming at you with the next native plant highlight. Uh, so as we begin today, I want to say thank you to all of the new friends that have subscribed to the channel. If you're not subscribed, please pop down below the video, hit subscribe. It's free, worth every penny. And of course, make sure you give the video a like, hit that thumbs up button if you want more native plant content. So I'm here today in our visitor center garden, just outside the visitor center and our nursery and marketplace native plant sales area um, to highlight, I think, one of the cooler plants here in Pennsylvania. Of course, I only highlight the cool native plants. Um, but this plant is uh, a member of the carnivorous plant group that we have in Pennsylvania. So Pennsylvania itself is home to three different kinds of carnivorous native plants. Uh, one being the sundews, one being the bladder warts, and this one here, which is Saracena purpurea, or the purple pitcher plant. Now, and I wanted to highlight this, of course, because it is currently flowering. Yes, yes, these carnivorous plants require insect pollinators uh, for their reproduction. Now, Pennsylvania is home to only one pitcher plant species, and that's this one right here. Um, of course, they are found in bogs, marshy habitats, uh, habitats that lack a lot of nutrients itself. And so this plant has uh, the adaptation of carnivory. It digests insects that fall in this vase here uh, to help it survive and get the nutrients that it needs. Now, being a carnivorous plant, the vases produce a uh, chemical scent that attract insects to the base. Uh, and once if we get a little closer, we can see that that va vase is actually a fused leaf and it is quite slippery. In addition, it's got some hairs that point downward to prevent insects from escaping once they get inside. And once the insect tires, they will fall into a liquid fluid at the base of the vase uh, and thus be captured and start digestion. Um, the vase is filled with water as well as digestive enzymes. They are home to a rich plethora of microorganisms and insect larvae that will help break down all of the insects that fall inside. And eventually those nutrients are then absorbed at the base of the vase. Now, if you're attracting insects for food, but you also need to attract insects for your pollination and survival, um, well, you don't want your pollinators to accidentally fall into your stomach. Uh, instead, you want them up where the reproductive bits are. So this plant has a unique adaptation of a very long stalk to get those plants up there or get the insects. Make sure its pollination partner, I should say, is away from the digestive bits. Uh, all right, dear friends, that just about wraps it up for me for this really quick highlight on one of Pennsylvania's coolest native plants, um, the carnivorous purple pitcher plant. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video and want more of it, be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel. And uh, of course, as always, keep on experiencing what's natural, learn what's native, and we'll see you next time. Take care.